Hey guys, welcome back to VR with LJ. A little treat for you all. <laughs> I know my bro is really going to dig this one. Caden, I know you might like this one too. Also, uh, coming up, uh, most likely I'm probably going to do it this weekend, uh, is going to be uh, Nerding Out with Uncles. Uh, I got two games specifically, one for Caden and one for Sweetie Pie, uh, Rosie. So, those two, oh, I can't wait to start those. And you guys, you know, you can watch them when you're bored or you have nothing uh, else to watch. But those are going to be coming up. And I got another game for Z. Yeah, Z. I hope you're ready. And I got one for Call too. Going to be uh, chilling with uh, Bro. All right. So long story short, let's uh, get into this one. It's been a while since I've played again. Uh, it's been updated a lot. So I'm not sure, you know, how much has changed. So what I'll do is I'll just go through the training. Just to remember the game. Me, uh, I really like being the engineer. You get to, uh, oh, you'll see. So let's just get in there. All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, crap. All right. Recenter position. That's short but lucky. As I said, to be continued. <laughs> Wait till you meet him. <laughs> Once I'm done here, I'm gonna go pound him downstairs. I told him not to do that, but that's alright. It's all good. That's my roomie. Alright, so let's see here. I don't remember any of this. So guys, what you're seeing here is I'm seeing it for the first time myself. All right, so let's take a little look in before we get into it so you guys can kind of dig it. And that's the ship right there. I am the Capitano. So let's just kind of check it out a little bit here. But we're going to do training. We're going to start off with uh, Starfleet training. Undergo Starfleet Academy training to prepare yourself. Because uh, playing the captain is pretty, pretty cool. The way this game works is each station could be another person in the world on a VR system just as I am. And uh, it's really fun to play online with other people, you know, it, it's hit or miss, it, how, it depends on how you get it. But if you have, you know, friends that can fill the stations, then it's really cool to play. Uh, okay, and the captain, you're supposed to be able to talk to the AI, but I think they have to fix it. Something's wrong. So, all right, let's get in there. All right, so start, mic check, and training. Start. Oh, yeah, you could change your avatar also if you wanted to. You could... I'll just show you, you could, that's my avatar, I guess. Uh, my feminine side. All right, so let's go back, mask on. Oh, there we go. All right, save changes, no. So, cancel. <laughs> just gonna return to my menu, okay. All right, so let's start training. Welcome to the Starfleet Training Simulator. Our system is currently configured to train command crew of Aegis-class starships. Here you may learn about the roles and responsibilities of each officer on the bridge, and how to operate all of the controls of their command stations. Feel free to experiment and get comfortable with the ship here in the simulator before moving on to the real thing. Okay. See, I like the engineer, but if we're going to be doing this, we're going to want to do this fast. So. Let's just go straight to the captain, because that's the role you're going to be playing. Uh, while you are the captain, you can jump to the difference. So that's helm, tactical, and engineering. So you can do any role you want, but in the game, we have to be the captain. So let's just do that tutorial. The only one I have done has been the engineer, so let's do that one. As captain, you are in overall command of the crew. It is your responsibility to communicate with and to coordinate the actions of the other officers on the bridge. You'll receive important updates on mission status and also have direct control of the main view screen. Okay, topics completed, objectives, hail. Now what? Uh, 
Okay, objectives. The captain's objectives feed contains vital information about your ship's mission. Updates from support crew and starfleet ah! oh boy. reflect Ooh. here, so that you will always know what your Sorry. crew needs to accomplish. Open the objectives feed now. Some objectives also have more detailed information. Sometimes you, as captain, must choose between different ways to complete an objective and direct your crew accordingly. In all cases, your crew depends on you to keep them informed of their goals. Select the objective for more information. That's the objective for your crew. Touch it for more info. Okay. Sometimes you will receive additional information to help with your mission. Keep an eye out for your intel feed, located near your objective readout for tips and hints. Okay. Objectives. What about a hail? As captain, you can answer a hail when messages from Starfleet or other ships are received. If the message is accompanied by video, it will be displayed on the main view screen. Answer the incoming hail now. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> He's probably going to kick my butt. Aegis, this is Captain Uku of USS Huxley. What's up? All system checks are complete. We're ready to go. LG in the we'll house. Stand by and follow you out when you're ready. Sure. Let's roll, baby. All right. External view. At any time while on the bridge, you can use an external view to see what is going on outside and around the ship. Oh, cool. Okay. Yep, I remember this. Yep. Wow, it's pretty cool looking. That is our sun, is it? Oh, it's looking kind of dark. All right, so now what? Okay. Station menu. Ship status. As captain, you can access basic information about your ship's status. Open your status displays now. The status information available to you is helpful, but no substitute for the more detailed knowledge of your chief engineer. I'm the captain. I'm supposed to be able to push buttons. What the? Okay. All right, local map. As captain, you have the same maps at your fingertips as your helm and tactical officers. You may use these to aid communication, to identify a target for tactical, or to specify a destination for helm. Targets and nearby destinations are selected from the local map, which shows objects of interest around you. Open the local map view. <laughs> now touch any object on the map to select it as your target. Some orders you give to the crew require you to first designate a target or destination, exactly as you just did. When playing alone or with AI members of the command crew, the captain gives orders to the AI officers. To give an order to a specific officer, look at them and use the orders system to select from the available commands. Remember, some commands will first require that you select a target or destination. Try ordering your chief engineer to prioritize power to engines. Some orders apply to the entire crew. To access these orders, look towards the central console in front of you. First, select the closest ship from your local map. Then try ordering the crew to investigate it. Hey, Scotty, we need power in the engine. Oh, you're Tanar. Sorry. My bad. All right. Uh, look at engineering. Select power to engines. Okay. Engineering. Power to engines. Oh, look at engineering. That's engineering, right? <laughs> select a target for more detailed information. There's no targets out there, but that's, that's it. Orders. Oh, I see. Power to engines. Yes, Captain. Maximizing power to engines. Interact with the center console to issue crew-wide orders. Okay, so how do you... Uh... 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 
the center console is way over there. Let's do it for the crew. The center console to issue crew <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't get over there. Uh, hello? What are we supposed to be doing here? Oh, you gotta push. Yeah, maybe this five handle is gonna. You gotta really push it on. Oh, wow. Okay. Crew wide orders. Analyze target. Aye, aye. Locking on target. Scanning. Scan complete. Okay, so where do I see the scan? Oh, I guess we just go to the next thing. Okay. Impulse engines allow the ship to rapidly traverse great distances within a star system. When playing with an AI crew, you will need to choose a destination and give the orders to prepare for and initiate impulse travel. First, choose a destination from your impulse map. You need to select a destination from the impulse map. Now give the order to prepare for impulse. Your chief engineer will give more power to the engines, and your helmsman will lay in a course and align the ship. Prepare for... I don't see it. Press prepare impulse. Oh, I see. It's a group. I Tell the crew to engage impulse flight. Making ready for impulse. Cool. It wasn't like this before. It's different though. Nice. I'm liking it. It's gonna take a I'm sorry guys. It's all new to me, sir. On your mark. I captain. The ship's warp drive can generate a warp field, distorting space around the Aegis and allowing you to travel to other star systems much faster than the speed of light. When playing with an AI crew, the captain chooses a destination and gives the orders to prepare for and initiate warp travel. Always bear in mind that charging the warp coils consumes most of the ship's power. Gotcha. The Aegis will not be able to maintain a full combat stance during these critical seconds. To go to warp, First, choose a destination from your warp map. You need to select a destination from the warp map. Now give the order to prepare for warp. Your chief engineer will direct power to the warp coils, and your helmsman will lay in a course and align the ship to the correct heading. Now tell your crew to engage the warp drive. Warp ready coils to ready. Charged. Aye, aye. Oh, that was cool. All right. Well, since we did our first warp jump, I want to go to the external view because I want to just call it here. We, so, so far, we've done eight of the 12. We'll pick it up. I don't want this to be a, a really long video. So... After this, obviously, we're going to be getting into the story, and uh, it's just going to progress. I think the next thing is the Kobayashi Maru. I hope I said that correctly. <laughs> you know, um, a mission, because it's the thing you have to uh, do to graduate from Starfleet Academy, blah, 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 all that. So, long story short, I hope you guys are excited to see this. It's pretty cool. I haven't played it in a while, so it's it's I'm getting used to it again. i got to practice the captain a little bit better, too, because I'm not used to him. So, hang tight, man. I'll see you out there in the stars.